everyone. This is one lecture of a huge course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. So be sure to check that out. Click on the link in the description or go to goodcreativeacademy.com and find the course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. Another way to convert a photo to black and white in Photoshop is by using the gradient map adjustment layer. So go ahead and reopen princess.jpg and then on the bottom of the layers panel click the add new adjustment layer icon and this time go to gradient map and you'll notice right away wow that doesn't look right it looks like a negative exposure or something it, it doesn't look right uh, this is the default gradient that it's putting on there alright so we need to change that this is if you'd want to add some kind of toning to color we first would want if yours looks like this we want to hit reverse first of all and then you could change you know a couple of the other ones um, you know, that one doesn't look right either way but so you kinda of see what the purpose of this would be is if you want to add some kind of toning and you could bring down the opacity now as far as a black and white conversion we do want to select this first one foreground and background. Make sure your foreground and background are black and white first. If not, just press D on the keyboard. That'll make them uh, black and white. So if you don't have reverse checked, it might look like this negative. So just click reverse. And that's a black and white conversion. Now we can get a little bit more control over this though. If you click, instead of on this down arrow, just click anywhere on top of the actual gradient. And then you'll notice here we've got opacity at the top, and then we have actual color on the bottom. These are stops. So if you click and drag this white one over to the right, it gets brighter. So there's more areas that are just completely overexposed, it looks like. You know, it's uh, just white pixels. Likewise, you could bring the black one over, and it'd be kind of look like an underexposed shot. But So we want to keep those on the edges. We could click and drag this middle area, right? And I just added a stop. If you add a stop, you can click and drag it off like so. And just click one of these stops to get that middle range. So if I bring that midpoint over to the left, it makes the overall area darker. Over to the right, makes it brighter without adding you know, a bunch of overexposed areas like I would if I pulled the stop over. Thing is, we can actually add a little bit more customizability to this. So just click anywhere a little bit lower and it will add a stop. So we want to add a stop. This one's white by default though. We don't want that. Location is at 50%. If you don't click right in the middle, just type in 50% there. And then on color, go ahead and click that. And over here where it says HSB, that's the hue we want actually 0%. Saturation we want 0%. On B, just put 50. Alright. So what that'll do, click OK, that'll put it right at the halfway point and that actually gives us some more control already. So we get the midpoint between there, get the midpoint between there and it really lets us, we can also move this midpoint up and down if we wanted. I'm going to put it back to 50% for now because I'm going to add another stop. So click kind of over here. Now this is 25% or 24%, type in 25% and if you double click on the stop it brings up here where it's 0, 0, 0050 now we it might seem like we should put 25 there right so if we hit 25 it doesn't look right though we actually need to put 75 because remember we hit reverse up here so it's a reverse gradient because the default didn't look right so we need to make this 75 and likewise over here let's add another one let's make this exactly 75 then click over here and we need this to be 25 actually all right because otherwise you'll see that this would be darker this would be lighter so this is completely white completely black and then we have completely in the middle a midtone and then we have perfectly in between 0% 50% we have 25 and then we have 75 right there and this gives us a little bit more control over black and white so you can click and drag those stops left and right we can click and drag the midpoints in between each stop and it gives us just a little bit more control over this gradient map 
adjustment layer black and white conversion. Once you're done, you can click OK, and that's our effect. Hey everyone, this is one lecture of a huge course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques. So be sure to check that out. Click on the link in the description or go to goodcreativeacademy.com and find the course on portrait photography Photoshop techniques.